Hey guys, it's Nitin here with the Ultimate Ebook Creator. Now you'll be happy to know that this is not your typical sales pitch type of video. Why? Because I'd rather let my software speak for itself. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step video that shows you the power of the Ultimate Ebook Creator. We're going to create an ebook from scratch for the Amazon Kindle that will be 100% perfect in formatting and will get accepted by Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing the very first time. So let's get started. First, let me show you the final ebook on my wife's Kindle Fire. Okay, so here we are in my wife's uh, Kindle Fire and uh, we're looking at the books and here is the book and it's called Prabhas Cooking Recipes and this is the book we're going to create from scratch okay now all we need to do is basically click on the book with your finger and I'm just gonna go to the beginning of the book okay so here is the cover page and it'll s and it says Prabhas cooking recipes and we can slide to the first page which is your copyright and we're gonna create this copyright and in some books the uh, link works uh, uh, may not work and in some books the uh, in some readers I should say the link will work and in some readers they don't okay so that's just something to be aware of but this is your copyright page you can have this page or you don't have to have this page but it's always a good idea to have the page and we'll go to the, the table of contents now the ultimate ebook creator actually allows you to create this content like this so all the chapters and the sections within the chapters are clickable so for example when it says breakfast that is a chapter and anything under a chapter is what I call a section and the ultimate ebook creator enables you to create the chapter and sections and they're automatically clickable so you can go to the various uh, you can jump to the various sections automatically so for example if you want to jump to the grilled stuff portobello mushroom caps we just click on that and it takes you straight there so that's totally built into the book now let me just go back and the other way obviously is to slide your finger across so here's our chapter and we can actually add some text into the chapter so it doesn't look blank so it's like a chapter introduction and we'll be I'll show you how to do that in the demo and then we've got our uh, first recipe which is the scrambled eggs and it, you know we can even color and make the titles bold and we can uh, put bullet points uh, for the items in the ingredients and then the preparation so as you can see that the formatting is really nicely done it's using an Arial font which is the recommended font for the Kindle and the point size should be 12 which is the default setting in the ultimate ebook creator okay so we've got this and um, and uh, here you are we have the preparation here are the mushrooms and then it just goes on and now you've got your my, one of my favorite recipes is the chicken tikka masala so uh, that's why I've included that in the recipe so here's your chicken tikka masala and then we move on to the desserts and we've got the chocolate chip cookies going on here and um, honestly this is this is just a very quick book just to demonstrate that um, the ultimate ebook creator is capable of creating this book and uh, so simply that it's gonna blow you away okay so now that I've shown you the demo I'm also going to show you at the end of the demo how I actually upload the book into this Kindle Fire uh, so that's coming at the end so stick around okay so here is the ultimate ebook creators main interface and this is basically the interface that you will use there's not hundreds of screens that you have to learn this is basically it so we have we have a few sections that we'll go through and you'll learn these as we go through this uh, tutorial so the first thing we want to do is we want to create what we call metadata for the book I've actually prepared text document that gives you all this information so I don't have to type it all in so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the title which is 
which I'm going to call Prabha's Cooking Recipes. And of course, Prabha is my wife, and she loves uh, cooking, and she's got tons and tons of recipes. And um, that's what we're going to do here today. Okay, so here's the title. Uh, here's the book description. Now, the book description is really important. Um, if you're going to create a book on the Amazon or any other platform, the book's description is kind of doing a lot of SEO. So you want to put a lot of keywords and things like that into the book's description because when people search, this is what they will actually end up searching for. So I recommend that you think about your description very carefully and, and put in a description accordingly. Now for the author and publisher, I'm just going to put Prabha's name again. And for the keywords, now once again the keywords are very important too for SEO reasons so people can find your book. So here I have four keywords and uh, you can put in as many keywords as you want as long as you put one keyword or one key phrase per line like I have done over here. Now let's move on to the cover page. So the cover page is actually an image and what Kindle or Amazon I should say and even Barnes and Noble they recommend that you don't have an image greater than 600 by 800 and that's because the format of the physical device is optimized for this uh, dimension okay so I've already prepared an image here which I created using GIMP which is a freely available graphics editor which is very similar to Photoshop but it's absolutely free and it's called GIMP, G-I-M-P and in fact I'll be giving away a whole series of video tutorials as part of the package if you purchase the Ultimate eBook Creator you will also get a package of video tutorials where you can see how to use GIMP as a software. Alright so here's my um, book cover and now we'll move on to the title page. Now the title page is something that I recommend that you do have in your book. Um, you can totally replace this but this is just a simple template that I'm given that basically enables you to create a title page. So you can put in whatever you want but here's some placeholders for the author name so I'm just going to put Prabha's uh, name here and obviously you can fill in the rest Okay, I'm going to change this to .prabamystery.com or something like that and this information I'll just delete and of course you can add more and more information here if you want to that's totally up to you okay now let's move on to the next part which is the interesting part this is the part where we actually start making our book now Ultimate eBook Creator is not just a simple editor that you just start bashing in all your text. It's actually got a concept and a method of creating the eBook. So I have a concept of chapters and sections. Okay. So if you right click in this area which I call the left nav, you have two main sections here. One is for dealing with chapters and the other one is for inserting and editing sections. So first of all we're gonna create a chapter called breakfast. Okay, so we'll we'll just select add chapter and then we'll type in breakfast. And now we have some something that we can put here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab an image. So you can right click and you can say insert image or you can use this image insert image icon okay and I'm just gonna grab an image I don't know really what image but let me just grab one image from here let's grab this one it's fine okay so here's our image and what we can do is I've got a little bit of blurb here that I'm going to just cut and paste so people can enjoy um, actually you know what I'm gonna use this image for my scrambled egg so let me delete this I'm just gonna hit the delete key and so now I have um, an introduction to what breakfast is blah 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 and now I'm gonna create my first recipe which will be called the perfect scrambled eggs 
okay and I'll do that by creating a section now you don't need to create a section but um, one thing to note is chapters and sections will all appear as clickable links in the table of contents so if you want things to be uh, clickable and you want to jump to that section or chapter then you should create chapters and sections so I want every single recipe to be clickable from the table of contents so every recipe will be a section okay so I'm gonna create a a section called perfect scram scrambled eggs and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this image okay so now that I have my image I'm gonna go to my um, list of notes here and I'm going to copy and then I'm going to control V to paste it okay and what we can do here is let's go ahead and make the title bold and we'll make it maroon in color like almost like a dark maroon so it stands out the other thing we might want to do is we might want to bullet point these recipes so we highlight them and we click on the bullets icon here okay so that's bulleted the rest looks pretty decent I would say that it needs a, a title here called preparation preparation and we'll do the same thing we'll bold it and we'll color it maroon so it looks nice so that's one recipe done now let's so I'm only gonna do like I'll do okay let me do a second recipe so right click on the section and we'll say insert section and we're gonna call this one grilled stuffed portobello mushrooms okay another one of my favorite recipes so let's insert an image again I believe those are the mushrooms and I have some right up here I'm gonna copy and control V to paste and here we have this kind of it's almost like uh, speech type of text so I'm gonna italicize this okay and once again we'll bold and we'll maroon the titles here this the ingredients and this is called directions but let's just change it to preparation to keep it consistent and we'll do this thing again so here's the preparation okay so that's the breakfast done now I'm gonna add another chapter and this one I'm gonna call main meals okay so I'm gonna just get rid of that put main meals here and I'm going to just put a little bit of text here for the main meal now I'm gonna add a section and this one it will be for the chicken tikka masala recipe okay so uh, so you can see this is really simple and, and really fast to create your um, recipes or any book in fact you don't you don't have to worry about you know like in Microsoft Word you have to make sure that every single title is you know you you know you have to apply a style to it and um, and make sure that you've got style one style two etc well this one you with ultimate ebook creator you don't have to do any of that stuff you just basically create a chapter create your sections and the formatting is taken care of okay so here you here you go so I've got my uh, nice little chicken tikka masala picture and um, once again you can bold this I'm not gonna do all of it of course I'm just gonna do one so as you can see we're slowly building this book up okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the dessert section and uh, once I've done that we'll uh, see you back here okay okay guys so I'm back again and I've basically finished my recipe book of course you can add a lot more sections but I've created a, a three chapters breakfast main meals and desserts and within each chapter we have uh, a number of sections and each section represents a recipe okay 
So I've added a couple more recipes, chicken fajitas, uh, soy ginger chicken burgers, as you can see it's nicely formatted. I've gone through the whole thing doing the same kind of formatting and, and at the end we have our uh, chocolate chip cookies which is one of my favorites. Right. So the only thing I've left to do is, you know, you can you can bullet these or you don't have to bullet. It's all up to you. You can do whatever you want. But anyway, once it's done, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we, we save this as a project. So we go File, Save. And then over here, let's just save it as uh, uh, Prabha's cooking recipes okay and the project file has an extension of .uec which stands for ultimate ebook creator so there you have it that's it once we've saved the file the next thing we'll do is we'll actually create a ebook for the amazon kindle and this ebook is actually in the mobi format okay all we have to do is go to tools and click this generate Amazon Kindle ebook. Now it's going to ask you where you want to create it and by default it chooses the same directory that you use to save your project file and this one by default is going to be called the same name Prabha's Cooking Recipes but it's going to be in the Mobi format. So all we have to do is click Save and here's a little dialog which says creating the ebook so we'll just wait and here is it's done your Amazon Kindle ebook in Mobi format has been created and it tells you the path where it is so we just have to basically go there so let me just go there um, let me just put this in detail mode and we'll just expand this out a little bit and there's your file that's the file <coughs> Okay, so at this point, we can take our Mobi formatted file, go to the Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing website, and upload our ebook. But I'm not going to do that because the Amazon approval process usually takes a couple of days. So, what we're going to do is simply upload the ebook file straight into the Kindle Fire. Okay, so here we are back in our, my wife's Kindle Fire and I'm just gonna go search for the book again I've uploaded a new book actually I deleted the old one and I uploaded a new one and as you can see here is the book okay I'm gonna click on it and here is the cover page as we saw and here is the um, the title page and here is the new table of contents so we added this time we added the ginger chicken which was missing from the previous one so let's let's go straight there and here's our ginger chicken so there you go and here's the dessert section and we have and in this one we actually added an icon here an image and for breakfast remember the breakfast one so over here we added a chapter called breakfast and then we put in some a little bit of uh, general knowledge about you know the benefits of eating breakfast so that's always a really good idea and one more thing I wanted to show you was in here for the stuffed mushrooms we italicized the uh, the little piece of text up here so I just wanted to show you that now remember you don't have to use any colors or anything like that but you know I'm just trying to show you the power of the ultimate ebook creator it's a very simple software you can use and you can create these really nice ebooks and uh, make some money from selling them So there you have it. That is the ultimate ebook creator software that I created for creating Kindle as well as Barnes and Noble and every other ebook you can create for any reader on the market that supports the Mobi, EPUB or the PDF format. Thanks for watching.